Hi there, welcome back into Jujube DIY. I'm Sarah. Today I'm bringing you three adorable and whimsical centerpieces for your table decor. So if you wanna see what I made and how I made it, stay tuned. For this first project, we're gonna need a couple of these uh, fish bowls from the Dollar Tree. Two different sizes will work great. I think that these are the two smaller sizes that you can get. And then I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol to clean them up well. So if you haven't noticed, I don't generally post on Mondays and today is a bonus video for you guys. So you're going to get two videos from me this week and I hope that you enjoy these projects today. I'm also doing a collaboration with a very sweet friend of mine and I'll talk more about her in just a few minutes. As you can see, I am adding some of the Dollar Tree Spanish moss to the bigger bowl. I am just going to use my fingers to kind of push that down and um, along the sides. I wanted this to look like a nest. I think that this material is perfect for little birds nests. And now to add a little bit of color, I'm going to clip off some of my favorite lavender from Walmart. I really do just love this lavender. And when I was looking around in my florals last night, I realized that I have <laughs> so much of that lavender. I need to remember that I have it and stop buying it because I'm getting a little excessive. So this pick here was in a Michael's grab bag that I got in the springtime last year, I think, or summer. I can't remember when, maybe fall, <laughs> one of those times. And I just clipped off a few of the little flowers that were in that bunch. Now I'm going to add this little bird. He is from Michael's as well. I picked him up last year and then I had made extra of those little uh, polymer clay eggs that I showed you guys in the uh, teacup project. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen that and want to go check that out. But um, they're just the little polymer clay eggs and they look so good and real. And our little bird is all set in her little nest. Now we're gonna move on to the smaller of the two globes. And I'm gonna start off by putting a little bit of the reindeer moss down into the base of this globe. And I just really want to cover the bottom of it just to give it a little bit of greenery and um, you know, a soft landing for my elements that are going in here. And next I have this little wood round. My sweet, sweet father-in-law cut me off a whole bunch of wood rounds. He actually gave me a huge box for Christmas. <laughs> and I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. So I'm going to be using one of these wood rounds and it fit into my jar perfectly. And then I'm also going to be using some of these moss bunnies from the Dollar Tree. Now I got these moss bunnies from the Dollar Tree last year and I'm not sure if they have them this year, or this year or not, but I knew they still have the ceramic DIY paint bunny ornaments and you could definitely either paint one of those, cover it with moss or just leave it plain and add to your little wood round as well. Now going back to that pick that I got from the grab bag at Michael's, I am going to pull off some of these pieces and just kind of glue them around my bunny. The idea that I had here was that my bunny was kind of sitting in a meadow where all these beautiful flowers are just kind of blooming, little wildflowers are blooming around it. And it's just, you know, like that perfect spring picture that you might have in your head. So that's what I was going for here. I absolutely just uh, pretty much squealed when I saw this bouquet in the box when, when I got that grab box. And I will definitely be using all of these elements um, from this bouquet. It's, it's a beautiful bouquet. The, the greenery is just lovely. The flowers are so pretty got a couple different kinds of flowers like the daisies and then these little white teeny tiny flowers and it's just a lovely bouquet definitely worth the five dollars 
and makes up for the five dollar grab bags that I got last time which was glitter if you haven't seen what I got in my last Michaels grab bag definitely go check out my Instagram at jujube underscore DIY and you can see all the glitter glitter madness that I got in my last Michaels grab box so now I'm going to glue my globes together and I am just using hot glue here to attach them now if you know anything about hot glue and glass you're going to know and realize that this is not a permanent hold this is a very temporary hold and if you want your glass globes to be permanently held together you'll want to use e6000 or some other glue that works really well with glass but i want to be able to pull my my globes apart and use them again in other ways so that's why i'm using the hot glue um, it'll hold it together well enough that um, they aren't going to topple over or move but i can easily pull them apart to cover up our glue i am just adding a little bit of ribbon around the uh, two globes there and i'll just use um, just make it a very simple bow in the front and that just covers up the glue and then i'm going to add my hat that i made a couple weeks ago if you haven't seen that video i'll link it down below and i'll also link another video down below of a lady that does top hats out of um, felt and poster board so if you can't find the hat base that i use from like saint patrick's day you can still make one of these hats today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend connie over at connie's creative creations she is such a wonderful lady and has so much wisdom to share. She is passionate about art and her creativity. She loves to do those whimsical farmhouse country cottage DIYs that are right up my alley. I love those bright colors and styles that she uses in her decor. I'll leave her video link for today's video down below. Go over, tell her I said hi and that I sent you and give her a little love so this diy um, actually was kind of intended for something else and then it morphed into this so that box there i made from an ikea spice rack and five gallon paint sticks um, i do have a tutorial on how i made it i will link that either in the i cards or down below um, they're really super easy to make they're sturdy and i love to use them for this kind of decor as you'll see so i added in some floral foam that i had on hand and then one of the dollar tree candlesticks in the middle and now i'm going to go in and add some more of the spanish moss i really like to use the spanish moss for spring it just reminds me of like birds nests and even though it's kind of dull in color it just really speaks spring to me so i like to use the spanish moss this like for spring florals and now we're going to add in some florals and i am just going to cut bits and pieces off of these different picks that i have and i'm going to add them in um, kind of just however i think it looks good so i'll just keep adding um, and all the florals that I'm using here today either come from Walmart, Michaels, or the Dollar Tree. But I think mostly, mostly Walmart and Michaels, I think, for these florals. Um, and just, you know, if you need to cut them down, don't shy away from that. If you want to make them more sparse, you know, just put them in there. You don't want to do big, huge clumps of flowers. Uh, that doesn't generally look good. So you always want to cut your picks apart to make it look more natural. And then add a variety of sizes and colors to make your floral boxes um, work well together. You want it to look visually appealing. You want to have a variety of different things for the eye to look at. You don't want to add in too, too many different colors although you can see that i did add in quite a few different colors but 
I did keep a lot of the florals neutral. So mainly my colors that are kind of coming in are the pink, purple, and a kind of orangish color. But here is a look at our finished floral box. I love how this turned out. It is so sweet on my kitchen table. And that little bunny, I think, belonged to my grandma. But you can find little ceramic pieces like this at thrift stores, garage sales, and a lot of different places. And if you don't know, I host a Facebook group with my friend Lisa from Our Gray House. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. We love to see and share projects over there, so I hope that you'll join us. I'll leave that link down below. For our final DIY of the day, I found these wall stickers just recently at my Dollar Tree. I had not seen them before, and they are beautiful florals and this um, charger tray that I have came from Michael's last summer clearance. <laughs> I grabbed it and I liked that it looked kind of like a basket. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and you'll see that I'm going to try and stick these stickers down. And once I started to stick them down, I realized that they're really very thick and they weren't going up over the lip of the charger very well, especially that bigger one. So I decided to just go with this white one and I did have to kind of crease some of the flower areas as I was like pushing it down against that ridge, but it was okay. Just use your fingers or something and just really crease them down and you can't even see that they've been creased. And guys, I wanna apologize about my voice. Um, I, some of you know, and some of you don't know though, that in the spring and summertime here where I live, people um, burn their yard debris. And I am very allergic to wood smoke and it always affects my throat and my voice. And I sound like a frog, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, but that's just probably the nature of it for the next little bit because I think burning season ends in like June. And we've got a next door neighbor who's very actively burning almost every day. <laughs> so it's been, been a little bit rough on my voice. So I'm gonna cut off some of this burlap. I am taking the um, bit of wire out. So you can just pull that wire right out. I didn't need it for this part of the project and I felt that it might be better if I didn't have that wire in there. So I am going to make sure that I am gluing my ribbon as straight as I can along the bottom of this bucket. And this bucket I had gotten from my local thrift store, but I the tags on it say Ikea, so it's like an Ikea bin. And I'm going to fold over that end and glue that down. Now, the mistake I made is that this bucket has a seam on it and I should have started and ended with that seam and I didn't. So. Um, if you're going to do a similar project like that, make sure you're looking and seeing if you have a seam on your bucket and then use that for your start and finish. And as you probably know, with like, um, a bucket like this, it does taper a little bit. So you definitely have to go in and kind of pinch the top part a little bit and, um, pull it a little bit tighter. So now I'm gonna add some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree along the top and the bottom of the burlap. And now I have some of these little cutout, like glazer um, cardboard cutouts that were from the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to add those to my seams to help cover up those kind of ugly areas that I didn't really wanna have seen and I think that this was a perfect solution. So I just hot glued them down 
and it worked out that it was just like perfectly for three and now I'm going to glue my bucket to my charger now again if you want this to be a permanent hold <laughs> use E6000 I didn't have time for E6000 to dry <laughs> so for video purposes I am just using hot glue um, but I probably will go back in and use E6000 in the long run but here is a look at how this little charger stand turned out it's so cute it's like a little mini tear tray you could put this in the middle of your table with salt and pepper on it um, and napkins and it's just really pretty really delicate and I adore how it turned out So that's all I have for you today. As always, I hope you will leave me a comment down below and let me know which project was your favorite. I hope that you also enjoy this bonus video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. I will be back Friday with a brand new video you're not gonna wanna miss. Go check out Connie's video from today. She worked hard on it, give her some love, and I hope happy, healthy, and blessed day. Bye.